Good morning and a warm welcome to the IA Mobility 2021. My name is Karen Amelka and I am the host for today for the Life Guided Tour. The IAA has its world premiere right here in Munich. I'm excited that you've joined from all over the world, from we have Hong Kong, China, Japan, Ireland, all being here. We are right here now at the summit of Mercedes-Benz. We have the open space in downtown, and these two locations are connected with the EV Blue Lane. But what all of this means and what is there to explore, I checked that out for you, but I don't want to keep th this as a secret. So I will share it with you, but now, enough from my side, I want to hand over to Britta Seger, board member of Daimler AG. Hello, and a warm welcome to the IAA Mobility 2021 here in Munich. You know, at Mercedes, it's all about customer excitement. And this is why we are proud and happy to bring our recent customer excitement to the IAA here in Munich. For example, our Mercedes EQE and our Mercedes concept Maybach EQS. We are absolutely proud to show them here. And unfortunately, we cannot meet in person here, but we provide a fantastic tour for you. So please enjoy, and I hope to see you soon again in person. We as Mercedes, we are a family. So I want to introduce you to Dennis, my colleague. Servus from Munich. And now we're here in front of our flagship, the S-Class. Yes. But this one looks a little bit different than we're used to. So what does make this one so special and worth it seeing it? Let me tell you, as you know, Kara, and as you might know, safety has always been an essential part of the DNA of Mercedes-Benz. So this S-Class does as well. I want to mention two of the latest innovations. And one highlight we'll find in the back of the car. Kara, what looks like a big pillow over there looks is comfortable. <laughs> actually, is for keeping the passengers in the back of the car really safe. This is the first rear airbag, worldwide unique, and we as Mercedes-Benz has invented it. And yeah, it keeps the passengers, as I said, in the back really safe. But Kara, what do you think? How many airbags are built in this S-Class? Let's say, go with the soccer team, 11. <laughs> 13, 13, but really close, and pretty cool. I must admit, like, I actually could take a nap here right now. We know sometimes <laughs> uh, trade shows, they can be long, but I have seen something else. Yes. There is a button right here and it says A. Yes. What does that stand for? A stands for the next level of automated driving. We call it Drive Pilot Level 3. And the button says that this S-Class is equipped with the new system. So what does the system mean? We are talking about sensor fusion. Yes. How does that work specifically? For adapting the cruise control or steering and changing lanes, accelerating and braking, we need so many sensors. And you might know Level 2, the Distronic system, but level three means hands-free driving up to a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So this S-Class and the system is bringing us to the next level. Yes, that's true. And if you would like to, I can show you the sensors on the front of the car. Please. Camera, follow us. You guys see this yellow painted sensors over there. And it's a combination of three different modular systems. The first one is the LiDAR. The one above is the radar, and of course, radars and cameras are combined to make level three possible in the new S-Class and in the EKS. I might be able to read your thoughts and you might ask yourself, okay, when can I experience this? When will this be available in my market? So how does it look with this? Yeah, I have to admit it, it's only available right now in Germany, and as I said, up to a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and only on highways. But I'm pretty sure and convinced that our engineers will do their best to make it possible in your market as soon as possible as well. So you have one more reason to visit Germany in 2022. Yes. But yeah, we talked about speed, and we actually um, took the opportunity <laughs> to take the new EQS and tested it, and we will share it. It was quite fun.
So, Kara, it's a very, very first time driving the new EQS, right? I'm really a fan. It's a really saloon feeling, luxury. It's wow. really nice, huh? Beautiful it's car. A, it feels like an S Class. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a close relative to the S Class, but it's on its own architecture and, of course, fully electric. It's the brand new EQS, fully electric vehicle in the luxury segment. The first one from Mercedes EQ. But can you hear the sound outside? Which sound? I can't hear anything. Maybe that's one reason, because it's the world's most aerodynamic production car. So I think that's one reason for the electric range uh, of more than 700 kilometers. So what is your personal favorite? I mean, there, there are a lot of uh, personal favorites of the EQS. First of all, the, the exterior design, the design I call it seamless design with its one bow lines, looking very, very beautiful. But if I have to choose, I would take the MBUX Hyperscreen. Yeah, that's my, my absolute uh, favorite. Look at this. Three screens sit on the covered glass and they merge into one. Did you ever try the recuperation modes? No, I haven't tried them yet. So normally you should switch gears on the steering wheel with the pedals, right? With the one with the combustion engine. But now we are sitting in a fully electric car, so that means that the pedals on the steering wheel are made for the recuperation. And if you use the left one, we can switch into D minus, and D minus would mean increased recuperation. And be aware of it, the car will regain the energy from kinetic to energy back, like transformation. And I would like to try it right now. D minus increased recuperation, and tell me what do you feel. Wow, it braked automatically. Yes. You didn't, you didn't use the brake, right? No, I didn't use it. Okay, now we can switch into the auto. So, Carl, speaking of intelligent recuperation, the car takes on planning the recuperation to know, okay, the speed limit, the traffic in front, and also the topography, so that they can use the kinetic energy back into the high voltage battery for electric energy. So now we drove a couple of miles. What does the battery status say? More than 500 kilometers. So, should we go back to the booth or what should I insert in the navigation? Do you think somebody would realize if we just would take the car and continue our journey? I never you want, want to steal give it, it back. Or rent it for a day. Let's go to the beach. So lucky you, we decided to not go to the beach and come back here to the IA Mobility 2021. And it's definitely worth it because we're standing right here in front of the new AMG Project One. Although we're in front of an AMG, Kara has to slow down a little bit because I want to show her some really cool and new features in the MBUX system. So Kara, let's get over to the brand new EQS and have a closer look on the hyperscreen again. Yes, during the test drive, I was so enjoying just the car itself and the driving experience, so I'm really looking forward to see the new MBUX a little bit more detailed. It's always a pleasure being here. I'm still fascinated the by this huge screen. The interior is so nice, looks so brilliant and beautiful. Benchmark. Really. What's so, new? New is when we talk about apps and I don't know, but maybe you played as a child on your Game Boy the game Tetris. And now it's possible to play it in the game uh, in the EKS. Wow. That's really cool, right? And it's not so only... So we could play Test Drive while being in the driving assistant? Sure. If you activate the Drive Pilot, you're able to games or play games or do some other stuff. Cool. But 
It's what not, else? It's not only Tetris. There are some more apps. You can play Pairs, Shuffle Puck, or Sudoku. But life isn't about playing games. Life is sometimes about hard work. Sometimes. And therefore, <laughs> we have integrated in-card office. So you're able to check your calendar, your emails, or your tasks and calls. You can manage them all here in the EQS. So let's see what my calendar says. It says IA Mobility 2021 Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Digital surprise. Guided Tour. So that's pretty nice. And my task and calls, <laughs> it is all about the digital guided tour. Catching up the word tour, I took the opportunity to check out the open space in the city center of Munich and see what Mercedes-Benz is offering there. And there you go. Hey Joanna, so good to see you, it's been a while. Hi Cara, it's really nice to have you here finally in the center of Munich, in the center of this really special, beautiful place. Take a look around. What do you see? Come on, tell me, what do you think? What I see is a beautiful booth of Mercedes. You see, we have created a special place here. It's a mixture of culture and arts. We have created a sustainable place, for example. The plants here, I have the same ones in my garden. A beach has passed my way. You can hear the birds singing. So it's an absolute fabulous day today. see not only our cars, not only our concepts are sustainable, but also the place where we are at the moment is sustainable. And you could also say that um, tradition meets future. And if you want to, we can go downstairs, have a look at the future. I would love to do that. Okay, let's go. But first, I want to take a selfie with you over there. Ah. Is this actually the new EQE that was just presented these days? Yes, exactly. That's our EQE 350 with a range of up to 660 kilometers. Wow, impressive. And in only, listen to this, 15 minutes you can recharge 250 kilometers. It's also very dynamic because of its rear wheel drive. We have 215 kilowatts of power. Should we have a closer look to the front? Yes, please. So I'm sure you have seen this front before. Yes, the black panicle, I've seen it at the EQS. So the EQE fits into the EQ family within this, this design element perfectly and it's becoming part of the family. Exactly, and all the little details you see here, our Mercedes stars make it just um, really nice, rounded really up in the EQ family. So right next to you, um, what can you read? Digital light. Exactly. What, what is that about? So the digital light system is one of our most newest features we have in our Mercedes cars, which helps you, especially at night, with projections of options, of triangles, of spots on the tarmac right wow. in front of you. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? I love the future that we're seeing right here. But I know something else. You will really laugh. Want to sit inside? Yes, please. Come on, let's, let's go. Let's go inside. So absolute an eye catcher, our hyper screen from A pillar to A pillar. Three screens also for the passenger. Also our new steering wheel with a capacitive mat in it. So the car knows when you have got your hands on the steering wheel and when you don't. And then it reminds you, ah, ah, Cara, take your hands back to the steering wheel because you are in charge. Joanna, I must admit, I love how the future looks like. G-Class, tradition meets future, wow. Absolutely, and that's very important in us that the tradition stays the tradition, that the G stays the G. So you see the chunky, the edgy design will maintain like this. Its off-road capabilities will also stay the same. Even, nice fact, in the tilt angle we are going to improve. Heavy battery, very low in the car, so a low center of gravity gives us a better tilt angle. That's awesome. the new G. So Maybach 
has its 100th anniversary. And Mercedes received the present from them, the concept Mercedes Maybach EQS. You could also call it a present to us because we can enjoy this beautiful car. A lot of space inside for a lot of luxury. You can believe this. It's a very long wheelbase with massive, impressive, big tires, short overhangs. Just love it. And it's another highlight at the IAA Mobility 2021 in the center of Munich. Did you like it so far? I really enjoyed it. I mean, so many innovations, the latest updates. Thank you, Joanna, for the tour. And I will definitely come back tonight when the art will be lighted up. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. See you tonight. See you tonight. <laughs>Now we are back at the booth and Joanna told me a lot about the upcoming EQG. We have seen the concept car of it mm -hmm. and the new one, the EQG, is coming in 2024. Correct. Dennis, you told me a lot about the advanced driving system yes. and the MBUX. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, at the open space, everything about EQ, the family, sustainability, where the future of EQ is going. How does all of this and the digitalization fit in together? The keyword for that is Mercedes Me, our digital ecosystem. And I will show you some cool features of it. Would you please join me over there at the wall? Mercedes Me connects your Mercedes with your smartphone, with your home and your services for making your life really easy. And, for example, fuel and pay. You can go to the gas station, take your fuel and pay with Mercedes Me. Or take the over-the-air updates with the MBUX system. You don't need to go to a service partner anymore. Just take the software update over the air. And remote access to the car. How cool is that? You don't need a key anymore. And of course, apps, as I told you before, there are many, many more apps. For example, the Mercedes Me Eco Coach which improves your driving by being more sustainable. Talking about eco, EQ, how does it look like with charging? You what has Mercedes Me to offer You want to talk that? about charging? Okay, let's go over here and have a look at the screen. We have prepared something. Ready to charge. Am Kira. I ready to charge? I hope. So we prepared a little journey going from Hamburg all the way down to Munich, to the IA. And with all the different situations and stations. So, okay, would you please join me and choose one? The ruffle, choose one. Okay, so I would say pre. A pre little bit more right. Pre planning. Yes. So, this screen is definitely more difficult than using our Mercedes Me apps. <laughs> pre planning. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> pre planning your route. You take your smartphone insert your final destination and navigation with electric intelligence means that the Mercedes Me app will plan your route including the charging brakes, how many times or charging brakes do you need and how much does it cost all on your smartphone and at the end you can send the final destination to the MBUX navigation and yeah, just enter the car and start your journey. Makes your journey a lot easier. So let's yes. say we are on a journey and we decide to take a break mm -hmm. um, to get a coffee. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> and how can we then charge in public and use this time yes. and integrate this? Charge in public is a really, really big and important topic. But Mercedes Me offers the access to more than 500,000 charging stations worldwide. And the cool thing is you can find them with Mercedes Me Charge and pay with it. And in Europe, which is really, really special, since the beginning of 2021, you're able to charge green in Europe with Mercedes Me Charge. Coming back to sustainability. Yes. So with that, I would like to close here at this station and I would say, let's go All right. back and have a seat. Thank you. So 
Let's have a seat. Wow, Kara, what a day, huh? Wow. Wow. Dennis, thank you so much for showing me all the latest trends thank innovations. You. It was a pleasure. The nearest product. I really enjoyed our EQS test yes. drive. That was a lot of fun. I also enjoyed the time at the open space in the city center of Munich with Joanna. And I must admit, I'm really looking forward to the new EQG coming up in 2024. So that's my personal highlight as well. For now, I want to thank you for joining our live tour from the IA Mobility 2021. And we really hope to see you soon. And take thank care. You. Bye bye and servus from Munich.